Hola, soy doctora Valena. Bienvenidos a mi clase de español en línea. Welcome, I'm Ashley Valena, Senior Lecturer of Spanish at UNC by the Sea, the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. My goal today is to give you a tour of my intermediate Spanish online course. As we tour together, I will highlight the top three standout practices in this course. Clear organization of the material, a generous helping of varied pedagogically sound activities, and an engaging instructor presence throughout the course. Vamos! Numero uno, clear organization of content. My intermediate Spanish course is a 15-week course divided into six thematic units on topics from health and well-being to travel and vacations. Within each unit, I divide the material into weekly bite-sized chunks with clear attainable learning goals and due dates. For each assignment, I provide the students with rubrics that indicate exactly what they are expected to do and be able to produce with clear, measurable outcomes. Under each assignment, I have the rubric and I also have all the rubrics for all the assignments under a folder labeled How Everything is Graded. Learning a new language is a lot like constructing a pyramid. You are constantly building on what you have already learned. To rise to the top, you have to have a solid base. In my course, students create personal videos. So first, I must teach them the basics about pronunciation to help them avoid common pitfalls. Then I assess to make sure they're not saying things like hola, H's are silent in Spanish. Rookie mistake. Each folder is a one-stop shop with links to the exercises, videos, and all assignments. In other words, if a student clicks on any given folder, everything due that week will be in that one place. On the home page of the course, students have ready access to an online learning readiness quiz, information on the time commitment, links to tech support, how-tos like directions for accessing the Spanish keyboard or how to post on the discussion board, and a folder for rubrics. If the navigation is intuitive and the progression is logical, that's less time the students feel frustrated and more time learning Espanol. Numero dos, varied pedagogically sound activities. The students reach their learning objectives through a variety of activities in my online course. They improve their basic reading and writing, not to mention cultural sensitivity, through their travel blogs. The students choose topics that interest them from selected Spanish-speaking countries and then conduct their own research. Next, they synthesize the material into the target language. Students are required to respond and reflect on two of their peers' blogs. Students improve listening and speaking skills through viewing and interacting with our video classes and completing follow-up activities. Unlike a face-to-face -face class, the students can watch the instruction several times to increase comprehension. The textbook also offers videos like The Office and other short films. Students improve their speaking, writing, and listening skills through the personal videos they post to the discussion board. I require the students to watch all the videos and then vote on their favorite one. Students use grammar and vocabulary meaningfully while creating videos where they are the star. Students also create commercials. These videos allow the students to create with the target language and be creative. Spielberg, watch out! In the online Spanish Conversation Center via WebEx, the students receive one-on-one -on -one feedback on their pronunciation during small group speaking practice with graduate students in Spanish. The students have the opportunity to practice basic grammar activities in the supersite, but can also reach beyond their levels through an array of materials available for them under the Web Links tab and Blackboard. Numero tres, engaging instructor presence with interactive instructor videos. The organization of the course is the skeleton, the bare bones structure that frames the content 
and the variety of activities, but the instructor is what makes the course unique. Otherwise, just learn Spanish with Rosetta Stone. The individual instructor must pour his or her personality, and yes, even quirkiness and definitely humor, into the course. When I teach the reflexive verbs, I admit a secret in Spanish. No me afecto las piernas en el invierno. Son como un cacto. <laughs> An engaging instructor presence enhances the content and makes the students want to watch your videos. The videos in my course are high definition and have good audio quality. The background Latin music keeps the activity lively and upbeat versus monotonous. In my videos, I teach the material in the target language as I would in a face-to-face -face course with PowerPoints in the background. I encourage the students to listen and repeat vocabulary, answer questions orally, and interact with the video, much like a child would do while watching Dora the Explorer. I have experience. I've got two little girls at home. If my students <laughs> can connect with me through the videos, my feedback has a face and a voice and is more meaningful. Bueno, gracias por visitar mi curso. Thanks for visiting my course. Adios!